Hey there and welcome to the Dave Does channel and today we are checking out some body gold and fuck what you heard, motherfucker. Yeah, fuck what you heard. Not the motherfucker bit. Uh, yes, yeah, so this particular video um, just just dropped. I don't know anything about it. It's been a while since I did uh, any body count. I don't think I've actually ever done it on, uh, on the Dave Does channel, but I do know I've listened to some body count. It was never a band I really got into. Um... Ice Cube's vocals were never really anything that kind of ingratiated me towards the band. Nothing wrong with them, they just were never something that resonated, so uh, I kind of skipped them. But I do know a few songs in there, uh, as most people probably do. But yeah, let's see what this one's all about. It's this controversial music video, so uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Yo. Yeah. Bit of funk. Let's talk about the blue and the red. Half the dirty motherfuckers should be locked in the feds. They make laws and break laws. It ain't no thing. What have my homies? I mean, is this the current style of body count? Is this? I mean, it's still early 2000s vibe at this point. This reminds me of POD, if anything. It's, it's got a funk to it, it's got a slight groove to it. It's not. It's, it's primarily just rap uh, with heavy guitars, which is, I guess, what they talk about body count being. It's, it's almost like, as I said, with POD, it's almost a new metal at this point now. Remember like that about execution. I think if you were to listen to this, this came out in like the early 2000s, late 90s. People would be like, oh, this is attitude, this is swagger, this is like giving it a hardcore sort of attitude back, almost like the hardcore mental attitude. Now it's kind of like, yeah. It's not really anything we haven't heard before, whether it's from like the Radiant Machine style or Executioners or any of those sort of guys. Although Body Count was one of the originators of all this back in the 90s, they've been going 30 long years. I'm actually quite liking the retro grainy look of the video. Green screen in it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite a nice guitar tone. Just taking it like a dirty, distorted bass and guitar tone. Very boring riff overall. It's not bad for like a transitional, but when it's played the whole song the way through. Okay, so there we go, body count and fuck what you heard. Now, um, I guess it's more about the message than it is about the overall music. The because the music is basically the same the whole way through from start to finish. It's it's a cool little riff. Boom, boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. It's just kind of cool. It's got a little funk beat to it, but it just goes out for free in a bit minutes. Which for when you're rapping is what you want. You want repetition. You want kind of simplicity. You don't want transitional changes. But um, from a listener point of view, it gets a little bit boring. Um, and it doesn't have as much, it doesn't really have anything in the way of staying power from as far as a song. But maybe if you delve into the lyrics, it's more about what's 
uh, is what that song is about. It's trying to get the message across. Um, I quite liked the video. I liked the fact that it was this grainy old school, reminded me of like 90s, late 80s, early 90s videos where it was kind of like, nothing was overly polished before you then got into like the mid 90s where everything then became overly polished uh, and early 2000s when we got goth rock and Evanescence and more Linkin Park and that's when everything kind of went right, we're gonna have to do everything like immaculate. Um, I thought the video itself was actually quite a good fun. I just don't see the purpose of... <sighs> no, no, no I, I do, sorry, I do see the purpose of body count. I just don't see the purpose of body count in my life. Um, I, it doesn't sit anywhere in my kind of listening spectrum. Um, it's not something that I've, I listen to that and go, oh, I needed that in my life right now, to be quite honest. Um, I also get this vibe from this particular song that if I listen to this and I listen to their first album, it wouldn't be that much difference. I just, I don't feel this is a band that's really gone changed. I think they've got a style, they've got a, a kind of what they want to be known for and why change it if that's what people expect. And that's fair play to them. Uh, after 30 years, they're, they're kind of, putting out the same but I mean that's a, a very basic track um, but if it works and people like it and it's catchy then fair play to them they're doing what they need to do but uh, I know people are going on a controversial track doesn't really come across as very controversial in this day and age where everyone has access to the internet and has their own opinion but I don't know let me know what you think about fuck what you heard from body count if you enjoyed the video today please do like share and subscribe see you on another video sometime very soon take care